Good morning. <clears throat> I'm going to do a live this morning. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. To um, show you guys some of um, the artwork that I have. Okay, so I'm going to go through, um, you can see my bare feet down here, some of the artwork that I um, have sitting around here, and I'm going to give you guys some close-ups. So this one I did when um, I was going through some of my collage stuff and faces, and I just wanted to show you guys some of the details. Um, her hair is bits and pieces of stuff that I had. This little collar was done out of a, <coughs> excuse me, a paper doily. Anyway, she is 12 by 12 on a panel. And then this one, she's really crazy. She's got lots going on. All kinds of collage, very textural. For a couple of days, it was all about faces. <laughs> this one's got the side eye going. This is the one with all the crazy hair. Totally inspired by my friend Lou Stein. She does faces and she's got a, <clears throat> she has got a um, painting that is in for sale in the shop in Branson, I believe, that has wild hair like this. And then here's another collage piece that I did. And I just went ahead and incorporated the word bye into it. Um, sometimes I doodle and scribble and create. And this one is called um, Outdoor Shower. And I used pencil and um, marker. And it kind of does look like an outdoor shower. Silly, but... Um, this one is called Welcome to Camp. <clears throat> For some reason, that's what I named it. It reminded me of going to camp when I was a kid and everybody lining up. And All right, so I'm just going to show you some of the small pieces I have here before I show you some of the larger pieces that I have. watercolor. This piece is probably four years old. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got this tickle in my throat. Um, that's watercolor that I did a long time ago. I think I did this in... Hmm. I did it in 2012. And I still have it. <coughs> Sorry. Gosh. Also 2012.
coughing. I have a leftover cold. <clears throat> I saw that Heartland mesh burn blend. <laughs> Those are little tiny companion paintings that I made. Um, <clears throat> getting over here to some cool stuff. Okay, this is a little tiny piece. And I did a built-in border on it. Really cool. And then you could do a larger frame and it looks like it's already got a mat. Lots of texture. <clears throat> All right, this one is a combination of watercolor and um, some acrylics over top of it. Playing to see what would happen. watercolor and acrylic. Practicing my <clears throat> ability to kind of stay wild and loose and open and leave um, white space. That's my favorite right there, the splattery. Uh -uh. Like it. All right. So now let's move them out of the way. <coughs> and let's look at some of my larger work. I'm going to be holding this up. But you guys won't be able to, I won't be able to see what you're saying. But anyway, <coughs> this was a painting that I did. On an evening when I was trying to clean up my palette and I scooped up paint you can see my shadow sorry I scooped up paint and um, just threw it down on a big piece of 18 by 24 and it's thick and yummy and I flung some white over top of it it's a pretty cool piece it's bold though, it's very bold. I mean, for the right person, I think it'd be amazing. And this also was done that same evening <clears throat> by scooping up paint and throwing it down on um, a big piece of paper uh, and just leaving white space around what I decided to throw right into the middle. Obviously, I was working with greens and purples at that moment but I like that my brush was a little bit wet and it kind of flung some of the paint <clears throat> and the paint looks a little bit like watercolor in those spots. That's probably my favorite spot of the whole thing right there. If I had to pick a favorite. Anyway, and I really like this one landscape. I really like this one landscape. All right, now here we are at my most recent floral. <clears throat> this one went through several rounds of um, paintings before I turned it into a floral. There's a lot of underlayers. <clears throat> oh, hi, look at all you guys. Let me send out waves to everybody. All right, and that is... Um, a pass, um, a, you know, the crayons that you use. So 
there's stuff underneath it here that I left. Pastel crayon and up there, there's some lines that I left. You can see I covered up some other stuff up here. <clears throat> it's got a nice vibe to it. As usual, it's leaning to the right and a little bit wonky. This one, <coughs> sorry, <clears throat> that's horrible. I should start over. Um, this one, I like it landscape as well. Oh, look, there's some tiny ones hiding in here. <clears throat> All right. All right, Lynn, is that one the one you said was mine? I'll message you later, but I think that's what you said. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not done with the pinks, babe. you know I'll send you whatever you want. Charity! How you doing, girlfriend? <clears throat> All right. Well, back to the 18 by 24s. This one was totally inspired by Jackie Fell. Jackie F How do you say her last name? Faye Fell? F uh, you know who I'm talking about. She's amazing inspired by her amazing work. She does some great artwork. <clears throat> I'm an avid, avid follower of her. And it's not identical to her work. I would never do something like that, nor could I, but it's very much inspired by the cool things she does and the color scheme that she uses. Very much inspired by her. She knows I'm a huge fan. <clears throat> All right, this one is on Strathmore 18 by 24 paper, but it's the tan toned paper. <clears throat> and it ended up, I ended up leaving it very kind of loose and didn't put paint all the way to the edges. And I called this one um, Neon Desert. This one is very, very green and blue. Really pretty up close. It's got a ton of texture. Let me zoom in so you can see. That's my favorite spot right there. Colors layered on top of, layered on top of, layered. I like that spot too. Anyway, <clears throat> I always seem to like certain spots of paintings. Oh, this one. This one's very cool. I don't know why I haven't hung this up and put this in my house, actually. <clears throat> so I've got the big circles going on down here. And then I've got some other cool stuff up here. And I kind of like how these are connected for some reason. 
I got my swirlies up over here. And my favorite spot is that. And there's the whole thing. That's one of my favorites, recent favorites. And then here we are with this big bad boy. I'm trying to wave to everybody as you guys come in. <coughs> And half of these have been turned the wrong direction for some reason. I just grabbed them. I was, I'm going to do a live. Grabbed. <clears throat> this one's called flowing through. <clears throat> I think. No, we are just passing through. And... There's a story behind this one. I did this painting um, right after I found out about the death of a friend of mine. Um, and I was thinking about it a lot while I was painting and I had music on. I was kind of just processing the shock of the fact that this happened. And um, I like the fact that what I was feeling and thinking about kind of came through on this painting. You know, there's a door, and there's windows, and there's, you know, there's all kinds of things <clears throat> going on in this painting. And then, you you know, you go to the other side, and it's a, it's an interesting painting. It may not be for everyone, but it was interesting for me when I say that art is therapy. Um, Hi, Pat. Um, <clears throat> it really is. So that's an interesting painting for me. Um, it got a huge amount of attention when I first posted it. Um, just off the charts, likes and saves and stuff like that. But it never did, never did sell. Um, I've considered that it might just need to stay with me. It says this way. All right, this one's super fun, and I like it better <clears throat> landscape for some reason. I use yellow a lot. You ask the people that know me well, and they will tell you <clears throat> that I cannot paint much if I am not using yellow. I can do it, but it's not as much fun for me. This actually could be hung any direction. And it's fun. Alright. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm kind of in love with these colors. And I like how I was able to finally use green and it pleased me. You know, there's certain colors that we use as artists that really work for us. <clears throat> and that particular shade of green, kind of that Kelly green has never been a, a color that I have been successful with, I think but I like the fact that I was able to use it in that last one. All right, here's a bold one. This is something that I wanted to try for a long time, just segments, 
of a painting in blocks and I finally did it and I really like it. I think in the right space. Another floral. Again, I was able to use some green successfully. Here's my scribbling. That's another thing you'll find inside of my artwork is a lot of scribbling. And here's Love Notes. <clears throat> Love Notes was painted over the summer. And it was right before my graffiti series. So it kind of has that vibe. Um, and I, ha I have a very good customer that really really wanted to purchase this and she's purchased a whole whole bunch of um my work like look but i still have it if she's interested but it was kind of a nod to the love notes that we all used to pass in school Another bold statement with gray and neutral and red. And this one. A little bit of yellow. If you guys have any great ideas for storage um, for 18 by 24s, besides sitting them in a pile, um, send me a direct message. Oh, I love that scribbles right there. Oh, I don't know why I love scribbles, but I love scribbles. Um, <clears throat> I make my scribbles with pencils, um, Stabilo Woodies, pastel crayons, and um, I believe, oh thanks Pat, I'll look into that. And I believe this was done with a um, Karen Dosh water soluble crayon. Most of my top layers are thrown on at the very end. And then, um, you know, once it's sealed and nothing will move anymore. Quite a few of these have not been sealed yet. This one I've had for a while, but I don't know if, if I like it. It was another experiment with kind of neutrals with blue-green. If you paint, you know that sometimes what you think is a perfect painting when you first do it is not a perfect painting when you go back and look at it. But yeah, I'm having to lift this way up in the air so you can see, see it. There's another one. I was busy all summer. I had a busy summer and I was painting whatever I could think of. Just whatever came out of me, I was painting it. And I still am, it's just I'm not as busy as I was. Ah, uh, here's Friday's flowers. 
this one has been posted and reposted and almost sold and given back and then you know like they backed out and then they wanted it and then they didn't and this one's been around a while there's the stems and that's a little dark over here here's the flowers some of them um, someone told me they didn't want to buy it because those look like eyeballs. They're really not eyeballs, but I get it. People see what they people see what they see. Okay, let me pull back. So you can see that one again. I'm particularly excited about the flowers in this piece and the um, robin's egg blue. That's kind of what. <clears throat> and then I did a blue and green painting. And you can tell on some of these paintings, I um, was kind of trying my best to stay with a limited palette. It's hard. It's really hard when you throw all the things at, at a painting. Oh, and here she is. <laughs> Isn't she something? She is just not having it. That's how I named her. She is not having it. I don't know where she came from. She's a big, big face. And I've done a lot of little faces, but I've never done very many big ones. But, yeah, she's... She's something else. She's got stuff in her hair. <clears throat> she got bags under her eyes. Yeah, Ruby was not having it. She got marks on her face. Her mouth is kind of sad. I'm telling you, eyes are super hard, I think. But anyway. In the right place, she would be really cool. All right. This one is busy. Busy, busy, busy. I think most of these are sale ready, but you never know. Sometimes if they don't sell, I will pull them back out and rework them. I like the swirly line work in this one. This one is really fun. Um, and of course the yellow underneath. That's the end of my pile. I like the lighter over the darker here. Anyway, all of this is paperwork for sale. So if you see anything you liked, just shoot me a message. Tell me which one. <coughs> if you can remember which one. And we'll get it to you. That's just a quick look at some of the stuff that I have for sale. What am I working on today? That is a great question. Um, I'm going to start a canvas from scratch today. So it's going to be perfectly white and not a paint over. Sometimes I have to cleanse my palette of doing paint overs so much that, I mean, my paint over work comes out pretty strong, but sometimes I want to start just with a white background. 
So I'm gonna save this onto my Instagram feed and um, I'll come back and talk to you guys later. I appreciate you all showing up and listening to me cough and clear my throat. I apologize for that. <clears throat> Struggle. Anyway, bye for now.